Hi, I'm Maxine, the Patient Treatment Coordinator here at Helix House and you will have left here today with your new best friend, your brace, and an OH kit. So I'd like to take this opportunity to talk about the products in the OH kit, how to use them, how to get the best from them, to talk about the brace that you've chosen to wear, the do's, the don'ts, and what you can expect over the next few days, weeks, months. So um, you will have left the practice today with your new brace, your aligners, and you may feel that one, you had a lisp, and two, you seem to be creating a lot of saliva. That's because your brain will think that you've put food into your mouth, but it will soon realize that you're wearing braces is, they're there to stay and that will stop and also your tongue will equally adapt to the new shape in your mouth and if you do have a lisp that will equally stop as well so to reassure you about those couple of points to start with so we're going to discuss the wear of Invisalign. Now Invisalign, to get the maximum wear out of it, they say to wear it 22 hours a day, which I appreciate is a bit like, whoa, that's an awful lot. Um, but your, your routine of your day may mean that you wear it for 18, 19 hours a day, which is fine, but um, you can't be wearing it down in the low teens because you really aren't going to get the, the result that you want and it's going to take forever. So you really need to be wearing it as much as you can. So that's the wearing side of it um, and you can only drink water with it in and you cannot eat anything with it in. So getting those hours in you have to be very disciplined and if you get into good habits at the start it will serve you well throughout your treatment. So we're going to talk about when you've got your aligners in and you're going to take them out to have something to eat. So you're going to have your lunch, you're going to take your aligners out. Invisalign provide a very nice case for you to keep them in and I suggest like we talked about good habits at the start of treatment, a good habit is to take them out and pop them in here because if you don't you can rest assured that if you leave them on the arm of the chair or if you leave them on the table they're either going to get broken, someone's going to throw them away, a pet's going to come along and chew them, they're all the things that we hear here at the practice. So good habits at the start of treatment will serve you well throughout your treatment. So when they're not in your mouth, they're in the case. So you're having something to eat, you've had your lunch, it's all finished, you've had a drink and what have you. So you then need to make sure that your teeth are clean, nice and clean. So um, you, you will have, um, in your kit, you'll have a travel toothbrush so that you're able to clean your teeth out on the go. You have some toothpaste in there. You will have some hand sanitizer in there because keep taking them in and out of your mouth. You need to make sure your hands are nice and clean. You'll have a nail file in your kit, which I hasten to add is not to do a manicure in between meals. It's sometimes, because you'll have all your aligners with you, and when they come, they come in a pack like this, and you take them out, and you pop them in, and you may feel, one, when you put a new set in, they'll feel a bit, perhaps a bit tighter than your last set feel, because obviously they're gonna start doing the next movements. Um, but they may have a rough edge, like you get a rough edge on your nails sometimes, and it keeps catching. And in your mouth, on your gum, that can be quite sore. So if you get the nail file and you just literally file it down slightly, that should correct that, should you have the problem. I'm not saying you will, but should you, that's what the nail file's for. So these are some bits that you'll find in your kit. So you've had your lunch, you've cleaned your teeth, and you're popping your aligners back in. Now that you have them back in your mouth, um, you will have in your kit as well a set of chewies. And there'll be two in there like this. They're little silicon rolls and you chew on them. So once you've put the aligners back in after you've eaten, you chew on these like chewing gum for sort of two or three minutes and seat those aligners right back in place so that they're gonna give maximum um, activity while you're wearing them up until your next meal time. These aren't single use, you can rinse them. I'd keep one in your aligner case because if you keep one in here with your aligners, when you put your aligners back in, it will remind you that you need to chew on your chewy for a couple of minutes. Um, so that, that's a, a good, another good habit to get into. Um, as I say, they're not single use, so just rinse them off and you can use them again. If you find that you lose them or you one damages or whatever, you can always ring the practice and we can send you some out in the post, but they should last you between appointments. So that's your chewies. So um, we'll go on to now that when you're at home at night, you've had your evening meal, you've gone through all the routine, exactly the same as you did at lunchtime, but when you go to bed at night, you're going to give your teeth a clean. And in your kit, you will find that there is some fluoride mouthwash. 
Now this isn't just any mouthwash, it's, as I say, it's Fluoroguard, it's got a good content of fluoride in, so when you clean your teeth at night with your toothpaste which has fluoride in, you're not then washing all the goodness away with just a mouthwash or water that's got no fluoride in, and you've actually rinsed out all the goodness that you've just put in with your toothpaste. So it's really important, I want you to use this once a day. You can use it more, but the more you use it, the more you'll have to replace it. And it's easy enough to get, you can get it from us, you can get it from the supermarket, you can get it online. But it must be the green one, it must be the non-alcohol Fluoroguard mouthwash. As I say, I'm asking you to use it last thing at night, and that's the one I want you to use, because when you clean your teeth at night and spit the bubbles out, take a mouthful of this, keep it in for a good 30-40 seconds, have a really good swish round, have a spit out, and then you're going to put your aligners back in so that when they're in, they're seated over this fluorogar, which is protecting your teeth at night while you're asleep. Now, you don't have to, when you get up in the morning, do the routine in the way I'm going to say, but it's just how if I was wearing them, I think I'd find it easier. So you've worn them overnight, you're getting up in the morning, you're gonna have to take them out to have your breakfast. And then, so we also provide in the kit some retainer bright, and this is to give your uh, aligners a, a sort of good bacterial clean once a day. So on the side of the packet, it tells you how to uh, use them and what to do with them and how long to leave them in there and that's why I would use them at breakfast because it's sort of like 15-20 minutes is kind of normally what we have our breakfast. Please don't think I'm going to give them a really good clean today and I'm going to put them in really hot water because it will melt them so please do as the instructions say. The only thing I would say is because these are only small aligners and they're not like a full retainer you could break the tablet in half and just use half a tablet which would be fine so the pack will last you twice as long. Also, Invisalign supply um, some crystal cleaners and they are the same as Retainer Bright, it's just they're more expensive and they're much more difficult to get hold of. So I would recommend that you use the Retainer Bright. And as I say, you can get it from us, but you can also get it online. So it's not that you can just get it from us and that these are much easier to get hold of. So that's the kind of cleaning side of it. So after you've had your breakfast, um, you take them out of the Retainer Bright, you rinse them under the tap, and you put them back in for the wear until you have your next meal or your next snack. Now, don't think, oh, I'm going to give them a bit of an extra clean this morning. I'll put my toothpaste and toothbrush in them and clean them that way. Because quite honestly, if you do that, they're going to frost up and they're not going to be nice and clear like they are at the moment. So you're not eating with them. So you really do just need to rinse them under the tap and pop them back in. Okay. So we've gone through what you do when you have a mirror about taking them out, making sure they're clean before you put them back, your teeth are clean before you put them back in, making sure that you use your chewies to seat them down properly so that they're working properly and how you kind of use the fluoroguard in the evening when you go to bed and what you use with the retainer bright. Now, when you have got the, uh, the, the beauty of wearing Invisalign is that you can, when you take them out, eat whatever you want. Um, and that's the beauty of them. The downside is, is that you have to become very good at remembering that you've eaten and you've not got into a chat and you think, oh, oh gosh, you know, two hours later, oh gosh, I've got my retainers in, my aligners in. So, you know, you've got to get into good habits at the start. But when you have eaten something, especially if you've eaten something like curry, um, a tomato-based pasta, something like that that's got like a colouring in, make sure that you give your teeth a really good clean before you put the aligners in, because if you do, they can pick up the colouring of the food you've just eaten. So you do need to make sure that you've cleaned them really well before you do that. Um, so uh, that we've gone through the sort of, you know, eating wise, you can eat what you want. Now we're all human, we all go out, we all want to have a nice time. And on those occasions, the odd occasions that they come up, I would suggest if you're going around to a friend's for a meal, or you're going out for a meal, or you're going around to a friend's for a barbecue, I would recommend that you take them out, you put them in your case, and you leave them at home. And you have a really nice evening doing what you're going to do, and you come home, and you clean your teeth, use your fluoroguard, put your aligners back in, and go to bed in them. Um, because it's going to be much easier. Um, it's, it's going to stop the fact that you might lose them uh, or leave them somewhere. So I really recommend now and again when you're going out, enjoy going out and pop them in when you get back. Because um, what we want you to do is we want you to wear Invisalign. We don't want Invisalign to be wearing you. Uh, so we've gone through that. 
And next thing is sports and things. If you do any contact sport, you will need to take them out. Um, uh, if you go swimming and you're swimming underwater a lot, I would take them out for that. Um, but apart from that, you know, if you're just doing normal gym, um, sort of, you know, gym exercise and things, you can leave them in and that would be absolutely fine. Um, as regards of being uncomfortable to wear, um, Invisalign are one of the most comfortable braces to wear. You may find when you first start wearing them because you've not been used to wearing anything over your teeth, you might find that they're a bit tight to start with and they might cause a bit of tension, you know, but that will soon, when the teeth start moving and, and more importantly, when you get used to wearing them, that will stop as well. As I say, it's, it's, it's not a common thing, but should you, it, it could be that way. Um, I don't think I have anything else to tell you about them. Um, you know, uh, you can. I'm the treatment coordinator, as I've said. You can contact me, Maxine, and any questions you may have, I'm more than happy to go over them. When you go home with all your kit, uh, and you will go home with a bag full of stuff, uh, there will also be instructions with, with what I've said in there. So please, um, you know, follow those. And as, as I say, I'm here if you should need me. Okay, well, enjoy wearing your brace and uh, just focus on whenever times when you're a bit frustrated, just focus on that smile that you're working towards. And I'm sure that'll give you the motivation to carry on. Okay then, bye.